Hello everybody. Welcome back to another pack opening. Today I want to open some more of these packs that I've collected here. I put them into this booster box for Darkness Ablaze, but they're not all Darkness Ablaze. I'm using it to storm. But I do have quite a few Darkness Ablaze in there. But I also have my sword, uh, my sword Shield base set and some Sun and Moon I think is in here. Maybe there's like a few Sun and Moon packs scattered in. So, it's all one of my last videos. Not sure when it will air relative to this one, but I pulled this shiny uh, leafy on. Pretty awesome. So, I was excited for that. It's pretty, pretty cool. And now, we got. Yeah, we got the Darkness of Blaze. Let's switch over there. That's what we're looking for. But yeah, if you saw the last one, I was doing the Hidden Fates. So if you look at the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault, see some of those in there. I got that Leafy on, which is one of the higher pulls you can get. Not as much as some of the other evolutions or that Shiny Charizard. But so pretty cool. But Darkness Ablaze, we're mostly looking for the Charizard V Max card. And not sure of what we might want in the Sun and Moon packs, which we have some of, but let's get opening. We'll start with some Darkness Ablaze here. This video, I might want to just open all of these. I already see something in here that might be kind of good. So let's do four to the front. Okay. Rose Tower. Give me Seer. Laron. Wobbit. Generac. Barvesta. Hippopotas. Ooh, there's something coming up. And what is it? Oh my god! We got it! Sorry for anybody who was wearing headphones. Charizard VMAX, we finally did it! Oh my god. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. The first pack, the first pack I opened in this video. What are the freaking odds? And I recorded a super like two minute video just pulling up a opening like two random packs from this stack just to you know do something quick. Just earlier today, and I got nothing. E both packs were like duds, you know. And so, but then that made this pack would be the first one I grabbed <laughs> from by doing a couple of duds earlier today. Which we might not post. It was going to be a cool, quick little like a two minute. Well, here's packs I'm opening, whatever. But this, oh my god, <laughs> careful, careful, careful. All right, let's let's leave this guy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's get him in the sleeve very gently. Oops, I dropped that sleeve. See, I'm, I'm shaking too much. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Pull it together. Pull it together. Pull it together. Okay. He's in a sleeve, and he's going in a pop loader for sure. Pop loader. little hits to knock them down and done <laughs> Charizard V Max oh I can't believe it I've waited so long I pull I've opened like many darkness of blaze and have never found one I opened a full booster box and never found one and th these are just random packs like most of them from yeah all of them from Target some of them are singles I pulled off the shelf others were it came inside like a, a little promo box like they put together and they had a few packs in there. And, and I, I, quite a few of them were from like those little tins you can get. They, they had like, they, they just came out not long ago. They have, you know, one Darkness of Blaze and one like Sun and Moon or whatever. Oh my god. We did it! Oh. 
That's the best one. Oops. Yeah, let's zoom in. Best one. Number one hit for Darkness of Blaze. Over $100. Maybe even more nowadays with the way the card prices are going. I'm going to get this guy graded probably. Okay, let's take a look at that. All right, all right. That's very closely. I don't see any whitening around the edges. Centering looks pretty good. Let's see more. Uh, I don't see anything that's horrible as far as edges or surface. It looks, it looks pretty. Maybe you can see better than me, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, see in the back looks really. Yeah, there's no like, I don't see much of any whitening. Yeah, that, that corner here looks pretty good. It looks this could be a could be a PSA 10, man. At maybe a minimum of nine, if there's something I'm not seeing that we could make it a nine. But surely not less than a nine, but maybe even a ten. Holy crap! Oh boy! All right. Hopefully the compressor I put on my audio will prevent you from blowing your eardrums out. Because <laughs> it should keep the audio from peaking. But I don't know what else we can. I don't. The only thing we can pull now, I guess, the one thing better than one Charizard is two Charizards. <laughs> so let's get going. I was, man, we're like we're like five minutes in. Five minutes in, and we pulled the card we've been trying to pull for a long time. But I don't even know now. We can't top that. Oops. Yeah, you're right. You're on. Can't top that. Except, yeah, I saw him peeking out when I first opened that pack. And I thought I knew it was something good was coming. Ooh, a dark eye hollow. All right. I knew something was coming. But I had no idea. It was the something. Wow. Yeah, after you open so many packs, you start out losing face. Like, oh, there's no way it's gonna happen now. And you kind of get kind of blind to it, and, or just sort of not paying attention as much, because you're like, oh, pack after pack is nothing. And when you do get the big hit, you're like, what the hell? Oh my god, I'm so happy. And I opened, if you saw one of my last videos, I haven't posted them yet at the time of me recording this. Hopefully by the time you just you see this, you'll see in that one or some portion of it but I did like a huge video of opening like 70 something packs of Champions Pass so I bought like tons of you know pin collection sets or box sets and all the little boxes that came out I got like a case of Hatterene boxes I pulled some decent cards in there but I didn't get either of the Charizards which is what I was really hoping to get and I was really kind of bummed out I didn't get Especially after open 70 packs, we got a few good hits. And my Champion's Path Binder has come along nicely. And Scavalier. Alright. Man. Oh, shaking. Oh, Charizard. Pretty good looking Charizard, if I do say so myself. I've opened and just to get one from sort of a random pack that came with those little mini tins and just like off the shelf singles so let's see if we can pull another one wow oh, Rhyperior all right Rhyperior V I might have one of him already but pretty good all right man I don't know if we're going to top that. We only have a few Darkness of Blaze, I think, left. A lot of packs I've collected. I 
couldn't believe it man, when I saw that Charizard. Oh my god. I last I've screamed for any card I pulled. Cause I've pulled some cool cards. And some secret rares, you know, some rares in the, in the past couple months since I really started opening a lot of them. But I've yet to pull one of the Charizards that everybody's looking for. And this Charizard is probably still pretty pretty good hit, even though the Champion's Path Charizards are kind of like the new hotness. So this still has yeah, some blaze still. Man. Because on Champion's Path you can find the Rainbow Rare of that card. Which is one a lot of people want. And it's going for way more than this one probably, but hey, that's a nice one. Whoop, Arcnozolt. The, the accident of nature. <laughs> or of science. Combining parts that shouldn't be combined. Oh my god. We pull a second one now. That's our goal now. <laughs> but that will happen. It took me forever to get that one, but I, I can hey, sometimes I've seen it happen, you know? Somebody tries for months and months to pull a specific card. Then they find two like back to back. It's just the nature of it. The randomness. Evil. I forgot these rares maybe from some of these, but oh, I can't believe it. Whew! I'm riding high now. That was a pick me up. And on Halloween of all days, the other day I'm recording this is October 31st. Halloween! So that's pretty awesome. Power of Halloween helped me because you know, the Charizard's orange, you know, the Halloween color. No metal. Oh, sorry. All right. I think we moved down to Dark to Blaze. Oh, it's a shame. All right, our hits for Dark to Blaze. We got a couple. Hollow, regular hollows of Dark Rye and Arcozolt and uh, Rapierior, but those are all kind of crap in comparison to Charizard V Max. Oh my God! Look at him! Look at him! Too close. Can you focus? I want to see how close I get. Uh, but that's about it. <laughs> oh my God! There you go. Beautiful. Ah. Oh man. So so glorious. Claw slash and G Max Wildfire. Boy. Alright, now what do we got? We got some Sun and Moon. Alright. I never opened a ton of Sun and Moon when it was new. So I'm not even sure. I know the packs opened much easier. That was like enough. Right. It was like. Another three or four. Yeah, it's four. Okay. But I, mean, I didn't open a lot of this one. It came when it was new. But I can't remember what all the hits are for Sun and Moon base set. He looks weird. Ah, new Piner. Oh, Polywag. Look at him. Oh, little yarn. Paris. You okay, Paris? Look at freak. He sees my stuff. And two cannon. I like two cannon. Two cannon's cool. Yeah, let me pull up over here. We can see what we're looking for in Sun and Moon base set. Let's just add all of these Sun and Moons that I might have some of. Well, we got Sun and Moon. We have a few Burning Shadows. Double base sets. I don't know if I have any other. Let's see. I got. Well, I do, I do have some Sword and Shield. And then one Robo Clash. Mostly Sun and Moon base set right now. 
Sun and Moon base, sh base set. No more Burning Shadows for now. Let's get some base set of Sword and Shield activated as well. Okay, and this is a glitch. We don't want to see that one. Let's say maximum price, like a thousand. So it gets rid of that glitch energy that's nowhere, nowhere near worth that much. Alright, so. And these next packs will be opening. Hoping to get some of the secret rares. Got some secret rare. Um, Espeon, Umbreon, a quick ball, the, the, the legendaries. Which. An ultra ball. And some secret rare energy cards themselves, which I've never, never pulled. And some. We got Marnie. I already pulled both of the Marnies. Snorlax, actually I don't have that yet. But yeah, I have the Rainbow Rare and Normal Marnie. I've pulled those. But let's see what we can get. If anything. Oh, oh, too soon. But the packs open and easy. They're very temperamental. Sometimes they slide right apart. Right. Man. We started that video strong. Let's see if we can continue that awesomeness in, this, in something neat. Big Malasada. Oop, falls in. Through it quickly. You fly, drowsy, roll it. Rare candy and Cosmo Mint. Alright, what else do we got here? We got a bunch of sword and shields. Here's more, here's the sun and moon. Let's get these open. For some awesome secret rares. Whoop. Oh, oh, Gigalith foil. Okay. Cool. All right, got more Sun Moon base set. I think these came in those mini tins I bought a bunch of. A lot of. A lot of those Darkness Ablaze packs. Bought one of each of like the recent mini tins. I bought more of their mini tins before the recent ones because those came with XY Evolutions. But these new mini tins do not. Oop, lantern and energy. Okay, one more Sun and Moon. Come on. Oh, okay. okay. They should put like a little slit somewhere. It lets you kind of just easily tear it right open. And tear it more easily. Less, dam less likely to damage cards. That's the one thing that would suck if you pull something like that Charizard and it's damaged just because it was hard to open. <laughs> or the pack got beat around. Not sure if that pack came from one of the individuals I bought or from the tins, but it, they protect them pretty well. Because the ones that are hanging on the shelves come with cardboard around them, and the tins, of course, protected them because they're tins. So, let's try some of the better ways to find it. Said, oh, yeah, this is Robo Clash now. Thorn Shield Robo Clash. I had one pack of, so I decided just to open it. And then we'll go through the handful of base sets Thorn Shield. I have. Oop, Manda Buzz. Okay, now we got just like Thorn Shield base set. 
So let's change our site. Show only that. Show you what we're looking for. Oh yeah, this is where we're trying to find the legendaries or the quick ball. And there are some other cool rainbow rares that I don't have yet. Open says me. Yeah. Ordinary rod, no bead, Mowgli, Islapede, Galarian Zigzagoon, Luna, Nom, Rookie, Bear Thorn, Galarian Rapidash, Non Hollow. Little cool Pokemon there. Not to look at the code cards, coloring that tells you if there's a hollow in the pack or not. I don't know why they did that, but look at the cards white on the back. It means you have a hollow. If it's more mostly green, you have a non hollow rare. I'd like to be surprised. Not to scorch, non hollow. Wait, air balloon might be one that's a secret rare. You know, if we could have a chance to pull. Okay. Um, can't wait till I get this video posted for that Charizard. Might be a week or so before I get this one posted because I have to edit and post some of the other ones I've recorded before this. Like my big Champions Pass opening, which I recommend you check out. We haven't already. Spoiler alert, that was a little disappointing, but yeah, we pulled some really good things. Not what I wanted. Ooh, got a mod. Looks like I have that one. But still a good, good watch. Still a good video to see if you haven't. Because there was quite a few champions. I have like boxes of them, all, basically. That's why I was more bummed when I didn't get what I was too what I really wanted. Well, my binders come along. Maybe I'll show it at the end of this if I have time. Take my champion. I've created a binder just for Champions Pass. So I want to kind of create a get a full complete set. I'm still missing a lot of the good ones. I got some of the good ones. You have a few secret rares. And grab blocked. Yeah, so far. Pretty sure base set's been crap. I haven't really pulled anything amazing. Got that Delamize V, which is not even a full art. So it's just kind of a whatever card. Need to find more. Perfect fit. Please. Almost out. I've kind of gotten into the habit of any card that's like a V card, you know, like Hollow or better, like V card, V Max card, or any of the full art cards. I always print in one of those before I put them into my binder. Ooh, Stone Jar. So it gives a little extra protection. And something like this that will go straight to the top loader, man. Beautiful. The only problem is these super shiny cards might bring my ring light. It's like up here. That I'm using the lightness set. Kind of reflects off of them a lot if you don't position them. So you can see the rain light right like that. <laughs> but try to cut back on the glare. Fly in front of the camera. All right, eight more. Drizzle, Rogunk, Little Cobra, Pinchino, a Volpix, Muna, a Roselia, and Cramorant. 
my one pack left for today's opening. Then that'll be about all the packs I currently have in my possession. I have to get more. I'm really excited for Vivid Voltage. That's the latest set. It comes out November 12th, I believe. And that has some really awesome cards in it. I've watched some people open some packs already who got it early. I have a box pre-ordered, but it could be in short supply, so who knows if I'll get it. Hopefully I'll be able to buy some of those and open them up on the channel. Oop, that was right. Oh yeah, that was kind of crap. <laughs> I guess overall, this opening this opening would have been kind of a dud if, it, if not for this Charizard. I didn't really get anything amazing. Yeah, it's very minuscule. Here are pretty much all the decent cards I pulled from all these packs today. The Dark Rye, Hollow, Rhyperior, Arctal Zolt, God's Mistake, Gigalith, and uh, Dilemize. But the creme de la creme, the icing on the cake, the best card in the set of Darkness Ablaze. I found it. I finally found it. Charizard V Max. How close can I get? Focus. I can't focus that close. Too close. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm going to get this graded. I've been trying to collect the cards I want to get send to PSA to grade. Because I have a few graded cards that I bought on eBay. I haven't, they weren't graded by me. I, I didn't send them in. But I bought them already graded from eBay. I showed them off in an earlier video I did. But... I got this awesome Mint 9 trainer card from Sabrina from Gym Challenge from the year 2000. Foil. Really cool card. Really kind of old and rare one. But they also got Sabrina's Akazam from that same set. Pretty awesome. And this one's a near mint to mint an 8. Pretty good. Yeah, you can barely see. There's a little bit of whitening. But yeah, so it's pretty, pretty decent. But yeah, these are two of my Crown Jewels in my collection right now. Getting closer, the rain light doesn't reflect. And they're pretty awesome. And I got some, here are like all the cards I've been, these are like the, in the maybe pile for PSA grading. Charizard is now gonna, is gonna be in that pile now. But for sure, Leafeon, GX, Shiny Leafeon, I should say, from Hidden Fates, is going to for sure be sent. That's an awesome card. Gotta get that graded. But I got these arms I'm just thinking about. I got like here some more from the Gym Heroes. The old set. I got Sabrina's Gaze. Sabrina, see I kinda got all the Sabrina cards from that set. And then I have this one Japanese one I just had laying around. I found. It was pretty cool. But those are, those are actually kind of common cards. I don't know if it's worth grading them. But I got some cool secret rares I'm thinking about. Maybe a Cinderace. Maybe my Marnie. I got this Full Art Whitney. Trainer card, which I love Whitney, so favorite Johto gym leader. Then I got Missy's Determination from XY Evolutions, full art. But we'll see, I got the Charizard GX promo card, which is pretty cool. And see, I took all the Charizards I have and put them in here because Charizards are hot, hot, hot card nowadays. You know, everybody loves a Charizard. So I have a bunch of Charizards, some of them promos, some of them from various sets. But then I would this one for sure. I'm gonna grade. This is the Hollow Misty from. Gym Heroes. So, see, so yeah, as I'm going through these, let's just put out for sure pile. This is the yes for sure pile. Now I got, I got three promo Charizards from Champions Path Daily Trainer Boxes. Those could be like big money cards in the future, so kind of may want to get all of them graded. Then I got another Charizard. This one's a promo. I forget from what. Then I got these, like, see, I got my normal Marnie, Turnus VMAX Seeker Rare. This Mallow, I really like Mallow. Misty's Favor, Butterfree V Max. So these are other ones I'm thinking about. Adding to the grading pile. So this is like pretty much the for sure pile. And this one's like the pile of ones that I still have to decide yay or nay. That's you know, if you're gonna grade a bunch, you might as well do a bunch. Oops, you know, save you some money. Doing a bunch at once. But Charizard, you're amazing. Look. Can't believe we got that. 
So I'm glad I pulled this one to be able to, because this is one I, I would for sure want to be graded. So I got, I pulled it before I send in any. Ah. Uh, glorious. So that card by itself makes this an awesome video. But I think I will wrap it up for now. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this opening. I know I sure did. It was pretty awesome. Um, and make sure you you know like this video. Since it's it was probably one of my better ones since I got to finally got the Charizard. And remember to subscribe if you wanna keep being notified when I put up a new video. And probably ring that notification bell to really make sure you're notified. And everybody, I hope you have an awesome day. And I know by the time you see this, it'll be well past Halloween, but I hope you all had a happy Halloween. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.